Hey everyone, we have a somewhat irresponsible video. Irresponsible, but you've been tracking my account progress for a while. It was probably fairly predictable that this would be coming. We are talking about gambling. Specifically the concept of taking mods that are 20 speed or higher typically and fishing for that extra, that sweet, sweet speed roll using the new 60 system. Now, for the longest time, I actually thought that I was pretty lucky in this respect. Uh, also, kind of recently, just kind of looked at the data. And for the most part, it really isn't that true. Uh, my rate on just hitting speed in general was only, it, it actually like right on the dot was 25%. And beyond that, uh, most of the time, you know, a 22 speed mod you know, the range of speed that you can hit is 3 to 6, but a 22 speed mod, you can hit whatever, it's a guaranteed 25. A 21 speed mod, you're looking at a 75% rate of hitting a 25. And then now you get down to where I am at, fishing on 20. But now we are really getting into speed gambling. And in fact, I already have had a casualty hitting a speed, but not necessarily grabbing it. It's still a fantastic mod. Not really the point, right? So, what has necessarily happened? So I guess a little bit of backstory. For if you aren't aware of me or my collection and you're coming across this, the current 25 plus speed mod count that I am at as of February 24th, we are oh so close. We are at 23 25 plus speed mod. You can see the rarity line crosses here we go from the 6e to the 6a and then we hit our first 24. so what exactly is going on here i think from looking at other people's accounts people who are a little bit close to me but maybe a little behind or a variety of factors there is why are we not oh god i hit five dot okay there is actually a running trend that i'm noticing and I think there's just a couple of aspects of the system that some people might not be realizing. So immediately right off the bat, I want to get you to start thinking about this system in terms of greens, blues, and purples are one thing. And I want you to think of gold as completely different. So there are two types of salvage. Obviously there's more, but there's only two that you really need to know. We have this guy, which controls 60 to D. 6D to C, 6D to B, and then completely disappears at B to A. This is what's going to control most of your mod lifespan. And then when you get to gold, you'll see if we click on this purple one, completely gone. And you'll notice, uh, let's start at like a 6E. 6E itself, it just starts with those guys. You get to green. We introduce this material. You, I haven't missed a single red crate. You drown in the end, right? You get a blue. They're still there. And then you have this other material. You get maybe a little bit less of it, but I, I have sliced every single possible slice that I could have, and I still have too many of these. So then we get to gold. And, well, purple. The other overly common materials are still here. But suddenly that bottleneck neck mat is gone, and instead we have a new bottleneck, which is the microprocessors. So this is essentially the guiding principle, is if you are just looking... Hey, I guess this doesn't necessarily even have to be for speed gambling, but if you are just looking for the most mod rolls possible, you need to be taking all of your mods to purple. If you slice a mod and it misses and you're like, ah, mod bad, I want to try a different mod, a luckier mod, you are effectively throwing away... Again, I, like, you can kind of think of them as free slices, right? Because for the ultimate bottleneck salvage, you really are just at the mercy of these, right? Now, it's a little bit clunky calling it free. You will notice some of these... I mean, I've done 11 gold mods now. This is effectively five and a half, five, or six E mods worth of salvage alongside these as well. Certainly not the cheapest, but this is such an exclusive system, such a, such a rare opportunity to just make some incredible mods. You know, even if you necessarily miss the speed of the slices, right? This is staggering, right? It, this is just so much power to be able to pack into one character. Even this mod that missed has some real 
potential power, right? So, you know, my 60 account tends to fall a little bit lower than other people right now, but I would say worth the investment. So yes, we have that as the initial factor. Of course, you're kind of just at the mercy of what 42, or wait, 42, uh, 22, 21 speed mods if you're down to 20s like I am. But you'll notice if we look at the overall relative rarity, for my account most of the time, the gold mods are actually tending to be the ones that miss, right? Because this, these are the ones that you took all the way. But at the same time, the ones that are lower rarity, most of the time tended to be mods that really weren't following through on either. Obviously, the, if you're all you're doing is speed gambling, then you're just going to pull off immediately. If you see the speed hit, take it, be happy with it, move on to the next one. Not to say that some of these won't necessarily have value to go for later on, but we are just looking for as many as attempts as possible, which is why, let's see. If we go back down to the land of 20s, look for our moderate line. Right. So, you know, you could look at this as having possible energy. You could look at this as yeah, maybe a health of the health or offense with offense. But don't really worry about any, like, speed gambling, you have to just be your eye on the ball on speed. And don't let yourself get emotional. Don't get frustrated on a mod, believe me. Do you, <laughs> I want you to ask yourself, do you think I felt fantastic hitting this mod three time, or two times and coming back to the wall for a third and seeing it miss? No. But you're not going to hit every single mod, and you are getting the most rolls as long as you stay consistent. So yeah, not the most complicated system. And it is, of course. There always is going to be a little bit of aspect of But you really do just need to... Look at your counts, look for any 20 plus. Ideally, you want to look for 21 plus just for best odds. 22 being the guarantees, but pretty rare. So yeah, there isn't really too much else to say here. Just uh, don't <laughs> be picky. Uh, certainly make some really ugly mods. This is basically the opposite of the modding 101 tip of looking for synergy. You are ignoring every other thing that you see here except for speed. And believe me, you can produce some pretty ugly. If we're if we're ever in a tank meta that demands entirely tank stats with an offense set for whatever reason, believe me, I'll be sad. <laughs> this is actually kind of a god mod for that specific scenario only, and otherwise it's just horrendous. Um, but that's just gonna be part of the game. I mean. A 23, 25 plus speed mod count right now is just insane. I'm not necessarily saying that you will be able to reach that as well, but I do think that a lot of people are sleeping on the fact of this extra, extra free slice that we have available. So as of right now, having gotten every box as of February 24th, we have 11 gold mods potentially total. Obviously, this number will keep rolling over time, but, but you know, the whole point is, if you haven't been hitting them too hard, to keep in mind, you have potential slices sitting in your back pocket, assuming you can afford them and haven't been spending the on sites. It's waiting for you. So, yeah, obviously, it'll take you a little bit of time to get up to those purples so you can get to those. But, yeah, if you have those sitting around, I'm happy for you. I'm jealous for you. And may the odds be ever in your favor. Happy gambling.